I see I didn't change the words around, did I? I thought I did earlier. Let me see if I can fix that. Let's see here. Maybe this, this, this. There we go. It's having problems getting it straight. Ah, happy Monday. End of Monday. That's always a good feeling. Welcome to Chalk a Lot One. My name's Beth. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. I've got something really fun to uh, share with you today. So if you're watching, please comment, like, and follow my Facebook page. Sprinkle this, S-H-A-R-E, to your other crafty friends. And I'm going to do that right now to, let's see, here we are, our VIP group. And there we go. Okay. Housework taken care of. <clears throat> I wish it was that easy. I feel like I got no housework done today. None whatsoever. And I really needed to vacuum, but I have to figure out where I'm going to move the puppy playpen. And Harley's doing good. First things first. Um, all month long, Chocotour has been doing uh, Black Friday. Hi, Jane. Thanks for watching. Um, and <clears throat> I'm... I'm loving these mystery packages. I received one so far and I was really happy with the mystery packages that I got. <clears throat> and so this just came today. Uh, we finally got our mailbox put back up. The snow plow knocked it down with the first snow, which is not a good sign. Um, and so my husband went down to check the mail. And lo and behold, a package from Chalk Couture was there. Oh, happy day. So let's see, these are mystery B package. It was a, a B size transfer mystery package. And I may have, you know, I, I kind of ordered one or two that um, I saw that were on special that I wanted. So let's take a peek and see what we got. Exciting. Oh, these are these I ordered. These were retired that they brought back in for the uh, Black Friday month special. I love this one. And I love this one. Isn't that cute? Hi, Julie. Thanks for watching. I love this one. So foxy. And let's see here. Oh, this is... So this would be December's Club Couture. Let's take a peek at what that is. <clears throat> I think it's gonna be, they're always good. Always good. Good things are going to happen. Come on, 2022. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Okay, so I guess these are the mystery. Let's see. Let's see what we got. It's like you know the gumball machine? You get your prize. Gumball machine, but do they even have those anymore? I don't know. There's a lot. Okay. Let's just do this. Who needs luck when you got this much charm? Perfect for St. Patrick's Day. What year are these? These don't, these are probably like the first ones. <laughs> Halloween. Oh well, we'll save that for next year. Oh, adventure. I have this one if somebody wants to purchase this one. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. I love that. That is awesome. I love you and naps. That is true. I love naps. Look at those eyelashes. Those are cute. The first vintage truck. That's a nice one. You are very loved. 
If somebody likes this, I have this one also, so you can purchase from me. Oh, the polka dot pattern. How wonderful. I'm excited about that. Eat, drink, and give thanks. That's a nice one. They're all nice, aren't they? Not only did I fall off the wagon, I dragged it into the wood, set it on fire, and used the insurance money to buy cupcakes. Okay. <laughs> well, that was fun. Okay. But we're not doing any of these tonight. So I'm going to set these aside. We have something else planned for us. We're going to do an inking project tonight. I was going to do it on this pillowcase, but then I remembered that I had some of our burlap colored pillowcases. So that's what we're going to do. Let me turn my heat press on. Um, do I have a towel? I have a towel over there. So many projects on my table that I want to get to. Let me grab my towel really quick here. Yesterday I made turkey vegetable soup. Um, so I like to use, the, I like to make my, my broth out of the, the carcass, the turkey carcass. And then today I used almost all the rest of the turkey and made chimichangas. They are really good. So let's... First thing I'm going to do is press press this pillowcase out a little bit. That's you don't have to do that, but I like to do that. And I never know where the tag should go. I'm going to put it down there at the bottom. These come in a pack of two. They're really nice quality, and they fit our D size transfers. Let that heat up a little bit. I'll come over here for a second. Oh, hi Judy. Hi Jane. The nap one is you, I know. <laughs> hi Beth, tomorrow I'm doing a pillow too. Can't wait to see what your transfer you're using. Well, I will show you. Yep, I love my naps, I tell ya. Um, and it gives, I usually the older, one of the older dogs comes and lays down with me. And I really like that. And then um, Bill can take the puppy out and play in the living room out of his playpen. So, yeah, those were some pretty cute transfers. Should have had this turned on first. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't get a whole lot done today. Um, I took Carly out this morning. And he's <clears throat> his feet are so big. He's not... He's clumsy, and um, he tripped coming up the steps, and I think he knocked like his, like it would be like the equivalent of your funny bone, because he was limping around for a little bit there. He's okay now, but it scared us. I thought I was gonna have to take him to the bed. Again, it's not quite hot enough, but let's. What pillowcase are you, what, what transfer are you doing, Barb, on your pillow? Do you guys like doing pillowcases? I do. 10 years away, Jane? Well, you're just a baby. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Jane, I think you told me you're a nurse also. Retired nurses deserve naps. <laughs> I love them. It just seems to, to, you know, it's only usually 20 or 30 minutes, but it just really um, rejuvenates me. Okay, so we got that done. And this is the transfer I'm using. I love this transfer. Um, you know, they've gone, they've um, come out with a lot of these, you know, I think it's Scandinavian design almost. Pretty sure that's what it is. It's called um, 
Scan <laughs> Scandinavian pattern. Yeah, so it is. I'll put that right there behind me. And, oops, I don't want that. I have another one to do in another pillowcase. So ink is permanent. I think most of you know that. And our transfers are um, self-adhesive, reusable, silkscreen mesh transfer. This is an ink mat, and it's sticky. You take your protective coating off. Let's see if I can get that to stand to that mat there. There we go. So it's sticky, and we want it sticky. So what happens is that, um, let me find the zipper here. Hold it a little bit like this to get it in there. It holds your material in place and it acts as a barrier so that your ink doesn't transfer through the fabric onto the back of the pillowcase where you don't want it. And this fits, this is an 18 by 18. So it's an 18 by 18 pillowcase and I think it's gonna fit in there just perfect. And it does. And then I'm just going to smooth it out. And really stick your, your fabric down on it. And it kind of gets all those little wrinkles out too, which is what I want. This corner right up here doesn't want to go in there. It's just like a skosh too big. But I think we'll I think we'll get that to work. I think that'll be okay. And there's something on it. Sometimes I take a little uh, bit of just plain water and wipe off my ink mats with my board eraser. So sometimes a little, little pieces of that foam stick to it. So I think I will have the tag down here at the bottom or on the side. I, I never know. I think at the bottom. <clears throat> At least I don't have to worry about where the hook is on the back of the frame for this. Okay, so that's good. I really would like it to stick down better up there. Let's open up this big boy. This is a D size transfer. It's the next to largest transfer that we have. in that cup. I'm writing back on the back of the backer sheet so I know which way to put the backer sheet down um, when I after I wash the transfer. I'll take this to the sink and wash it. So I just roll it, get it started, and then roll it straight up. not to let it flip back on itself. It's such a cute transfer. I just, I've, I've just loved, really enjoyed these um, Scandinavian designs that they came out with this year. All of them. I'm just going to line it up on here. I really don't like the way that's bouncing up there. But what I can do about that.
Now just push your transfer down. It's adhesive, it sticks. And I did not fuzz it because I want it to get a really good um, seal onto that fabric. Especially over here where the edge wants to kind of curl on me a little bit. This is a darling transfer. I love it. And I think I'm going to do just the one and done on this. I'm going to do it all in red, but I haven't decided if I'm going to do it in crimson red or candy apple red. I kind of was thinking the darker red. I think that's what we'll do. We'll probably take all of my paste. Let me see if I can find... Oh good, here's one. I need a stir stick. So this is called um, Current Ink, Current Jam. I think I better get some more of this ordered. Make sure that's what I want to do. I think it'll be I think it'll be a pretty accent piece. I think I will do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna get it on here. And we're gonna start spreading it. And let me get a wet wipe out, because you always want to have something for your hands when you're inking. I have our small squeegee, and I'm just going to start pulling it. When I'm inking, I go one direction. This is such a pretty color. So when you do the one and done, you can just get your ink or your paste on there and just pull it over. With inking, you have more time to um, work on it. Like if you wanted to do all these individual little design pieces, um, it would take a little while, so you would have time to do that with ink. With paste, you would have to do the, uh, if you were doing this on a, on a board, then you would have to do the um, paste and peel technique. I think this is going to be a really pretty color, especially on that neutral pillowcase. I have a lot of this, um, you know, it's kind of like a burgundy color. I have a lot of this in my living room. And you see, I'm just going one direction with my ink, and I'm getting those harsh lines as I go. You don't want to. You don't want to go back and forth like we do sometimes with chalk, because you want to keep it. Your ink. You don't want it bleeding under your silk screen. Almost got it. A little bit more over here. This is that tricky spot. Ah, I hope that didn't bleed there. I felt an air bubble right where that um, it kind of bends at the top. 
top there. Now let me just go through and make sure I got everything. Looks pretty good. Uh, I better leave that alone. I'm afraid I'm going to make a bleed there. Okay, I think we got it pretty skimmed down pretty good. Take your wet, wet wipe, wipe off any ink that you have on your hands. And I'm going to pull this up slowly so I can go back through. Let me see if I can get that deer antler a little bit better. Let me try a mini squeegee. That's better. So if you pull back slowly, then you can lay it back down and see where the ink maybe soaked in a little bit extra in some places, or you didn't have the same amount of pressure and you can go back through and fix it. Oh, it looks so pretty. I'm going to lift from the bottom now so I don't keep laying back down from the top. Looks good. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh. Some of these little candies here, I'd like to see if we can get them a little more filled in. Kind of just push it back down a little bit. Let's put one over here. right here. <clears throat> it's pretty wet in places and it does have a few little areas that look distressed but I really really like it. Isn't it pretty? Oh my gosh I love it and I and I really like the one color on it. But like I said if you if you have a, a little more time than I do you can um, go to town and make all different colors on it. Let's see over here. Very pretty. Thank you. Hi, Christina. Thank you. What? Who's retiring on the on the third? Thank you, Sherry. Thanks, Jane. Nurse case manager. Blessed to be able to work from home. Oh yeah. Good. I'm I'm happy for you, Jane. Somebody up here says they're retiring soon. Sherry, you're in ICU and, re and, you, and you retired September 3rd and loving it. Congratulations. Um, I'm semi-retired. I have one patient still. I'm a hospice nurse. So, um, well, my goodness. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I love this. I love this transfer. 
I really like our pillowcases. Um, and I just stuff them with polyfill. And then, and then when I'm done with them, like I have a 4th of July pillow that I did, and um, I just take the polyfill out, put it in my new pillow, and that way I'm not storing pillows in my linen closet because I don't have room for that. So what I am going to do, since this is such a big area, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it air dry overnight on my ink pad. So I'm just gonna leave it right here. And then I'm going to set my heat press to um, be, um, between, I go between 330 and 350, 330. I like a little bit lower temp than what they recommend. I'll put a piece of parchment paper over this and I'll heat set each section for 30 seconds and then flip it inside out. And that's another reason I want to let it dry overnight because I really want it dry. Uh, flip it inside out and then heat set the inside, the same thing. 30 seconds each side. Excuse me. If you don't have a heat press, you can use your iron, um, but do the same type of deal. Get your parchment paper, um, set your temperature to whatever the temperature of the fabric is. Like this is 100% cotton, so you would send it, set it to your cotton. Um, and then you will um, go in, uh, cover every area for four minutes each inside and outside. So, you know, uh, put your audio book on if you're going to be ironing for, what, uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 32 minutes. <laughs> um, I've heard some people say they dry it really well and then throw it in their, their uh, dryer on a hot heat setting. I've not tried that. I'm not recommending it. I just have heard some people say that. Um, and it is permanent. And I don't know, unless my husband steps on this with a muddy boot, the chances of me washing it are not very big. So, anyways. Well, that's my story for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. And I'll be back tomorrow um, with something else, something new and something fun. So until we talk and talk again, take good care.